man, this whole Greg Roman thing, it's been crazy. It's been crazy because um, you, you look at a quote, and when you saw the quote initially, it was like, whoa, hold up now, Giro. Really? But then, this is why I always say it's important to look at context. And that's exactly what we're going to do today is look at the context and see, still see if it matches that same craziness that came from the quote. So, <clears throat> getting right into it. The question came from Garrett Downey. He said, uh, it looks like Lamar Jackson is throwing the ball really well. Just what's your perspective on the way he looks throwing the football so far? Greg Roman's response was yes. I mean, I think it's the best I've ever seen him throw it thus far. What are we, three days in? And he's throwing it probably better than I've ever seen him throw it. He's really worked hard in the offseason and is showing, so he's got to build on that. It's really exciting. We're all very excited about that, and now we've all got to get on the same page so we can function as a unit and put that performance, take every ounce of that performance, and maximize it. So, so far, so good. Nothing wrong with what he said. He said Lamar Jackson is looking the best that he's ever looked. And Lamar Jackson has looked really, really good. Uh, he's been very decisive. He's been very accurate. Oh, man. Uh, the past two days, I cringed for him. Yes, the when I seen um, when he, he, he throw the ball on point right in the chest and then somebody would drop it. Oh, it was tough. I know Justice Hill, he had a drop. Devin DuVernay, he had a huge catch, but he did have a, a drop two days ago too but i mean it, get it get it out in training camp get it out of your system in training camp all the drops and whatnot this is the perfect time to make all the mistakes in the world because come regular season uh, yeah uh but anyway <clears throat> and we know mistakes will still be made because nobody's perfect so that's it's part of the game uh but anyway the first part of the quote no problem that's fine let's get to the second part uh, and it came from a follow-up question from Ryan Mink. He said, does that open up the offense or open up the playbook anymore, the way Lamar Jackson is throwing the ball? And Greg Roman said, no, we got the playbook, and we probably have legitimately 20% new stuff. But what it will do is I might call the game differently. I might call different plays that are in the playbook. So um, this is where things got a little bit tricky. Uh, because with what Greg Roman said, um, it sounded like, uh, all right, well, Lamar, he he graduated now. Now I can call some different plays. Now since Lamar's doing this stuff, he's throwing the ball better than I've ever seen him. Now, now I can really dip into the playbook. That's what it sounded like. And I think that's most people's frustration uh, with Greg Roman is the fact that we've we've heard this before and we haven't seen results Remember, oh, hey, we're going to have Lamar Jackson on the center this year. Remember that? Yeah. Remember, oh, the I, we got so many plays in the vault. Oh, man. Remember that? And I know there are more quotes, but I cannot think of them off the top of my head. But, my oh, we're going to be forging a new identity. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there, that's what's been frustrating about this whole quote. It's like, oh, now now you want to really dip into that? Play well, he says he's going to dip into the playbook. I think with a lot of Ravens fans that have been frustrated with Greg Roman as an offensive coordinator, it's the fact that um, he'll talk a big game. But when we watch the games, it's like, ooh, yikes. There's been some success now. But there's also been a lot of big yikes moments. And a lot of times, for me personally, the, the, the big yikes moments that I've seen uh, is just in the flow of the game. There have been some games with just such a lack of a flow. And, and the, the, you know, defenses, they can interrupt stuff. But a lot of times, it seems like Ravens can be their own worst enemy. They can be their biggest enemy. Um, from preparation, uh, before the play even start. Guys not being lined up in the proper spots, uh, getting the play in with like three, five to three seconds left. Um, a, a lot of stuff can be just sloppiness from jump. And that, that'll kill a play before a play even gets started. Um, and, and then uh, just a, a lot of the plays themselves, it, it's like they won't be in rhythm with the game. And they won't attack the weaknesses of a defense. And, and even if they may, they may be attacking the weakness of a defense, but then they'll go away from it. And it's like, huh? Why are we doing? What's going on? Um, situational play calling. Oh, boy. That has continued to just be frustrating. Frustrating. Um, I think uh, 
After, 2019 was obviously a beautiful thing. That was Greg Roman's first year's offensive coordinator. Lamar Jackson won MVP. We know. Um, but like I told y'all back then, I questioned it. I said, "Hey, what's what's next? How is this offense going to evolve? How's this offense going to take the next step?" Um, 2020 was a COVID year, so I was like, "Okay, uh, COVID year. It's it's a weird off season. Nothing like this has ever happened before." But then at the same time, I was thinking, "Oh, but mm, well, the Ravens they're going to have the same offensive coordinator, so we got an advantage." And they did have a lot of success, but then a lot of them same issues they they continued to happen. Um, then 2021, there were a lot of injuries, as we all know. But in my opinion, with all the injuries that there were, um, injuries really put coaching on the forefront because it puts you in such an uncomfort in uncomfortable territory. Because it's like, man, like we really got to step up now. Because when you have great players, and you obviously want all the great players in the world, but if you have great players, they can cover up. They can cover up a lot of stuff. They can do so much for you. They can um, overcome. And then a lot of times they can execute better too. They can execute the game plan better than a player that may be a backup and whatnot. And that's no disrespect to anybody that's a backup. But a lot of times that's that's why great players are great players. That's why starters are starters and backups are backups. A lot of times starters starters are the ones that can win the game. Backups, they, they may keep it close or whatnot. Uh, but your starters are your starters for a reason. A lot of the time. Um, so, but starters and great players, playmakers, they can overcompensate but then when you lose a lot of those guys that's when coaching really has to step up and again with the Ravens and especially the offense the issue is far deeper than just Greg Roman and we've been saying that we will continue to say that because the, the issue is far deeper than Greg Roman it's Ravens philosophy as a team it's their philosophy as a team Greg Roman could get fired tomorrow the Ravens will still have that same philosophy um, and with Greg Roman, <clears throat> I do think, and I've said this before, that I, I do think this is his last year. Um, it, it, whether he gets fired or not, I do think this is going to be his last year with the Ravens. Um, and I think James Urban, too. I, I think the Ravens are going to move in a diff different direction uh, with both of them, um, simply because of the different hires that they've made. The way that the Ravens have been hiring people and the people who they've been hiring, it just seems like all right, they, they are getting people to sort of push Greg Roman and James Urban out re res respectfully um so we'll see how that goes now um with greg, greg roman i hope he doesn't get fired because that would mean he was having a lot of success um but we'll see I, I just want this team to do well and i really want them to maximize the talent that they do have i want them to get some more talent but no i also i would like them to maximize the talent that they do have and, and that's been another thing too they have not been putting guys in position for success they have not been using guys to their strengths, playing guys to their strengths. That's been another frustration with this team. As far as running the ball, oh yeah, when they the way that they put runners in position for success, oh yeah, all day they they got that. J.K. Dobbins, we done seen it. Gus Edwards, we done seen it. Lamar Jackson, we done seen it. Um, but the way that in the passing game, more so with like receivers and stuff, we ain't seen it. We ain't seen it. Um, Mark Andrews He's a tight end uh, We get that he's, he's been a baller Shout out to Mark Andrews But That's why this offense That people always say Oh it's designed for Lamar Jack No it's designed for Greg Roman It's designed for Greg Roman This was not designed for Lamar Jackson This was designed for Greg Roman Greg Roman specialties Run that ball Run the ball And They like in my opinion, I, I, Lamar gonna get his. We know Lamar gonna get his rushing yards, but Lamar he cannot be, in my opinion, the focal point of the running game. We know what he can do with his legs. We get that, and we know Ravens they took full advantage of what he can do with his legs. We get that, but he should not be. In my opinion, I don't think he should be the leading rusher. I know he gonna get his. He gonna break off his runs and whatnot, but let let your other guys lead that. The running backs. Um, we'll see how the season goes, man. I mean, I, I, and again, I think everybody's biggest concern, at least mine, I can't speak for everybody, but a lot of people, um, their concern is just, all right, you, you, you talked a good game, but what are you going to do now? And should it really take, take until year four of y'all two being together for you to open stuff up? Really? Lamar's already shown he could pass in college. He's already showing you a pass in the pros. It's it's like they they continue like 
making it like Lamar is this elementary player who's in college or something. Like you get what, or like, and maybe that was a bad example. Like they they make it seem like he's this, uh, yeah, like he's an elementary school kid, but he's he's in college with all these these adults and whatnot, and like he he got to work his way up. How do you think? He, how, how do you think you have st- you you still here as an offensive coordinator? Who do you think saved the head coach's job? Like again, we know Harper was on his way out of there. He was gone. They put Lamar in, and whoo, Harbaugh was like, whoo, 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 okay, my my cheeks can cool down there. But that's something to think about, man. Got to think about that. They they and, and it just seems like they uh again. I don't think the Ravens have not maximized Lamar Jackson as a quarterback. They have not. They have not maximized him as a quarterback. And they really like. It's it's crazy that we still having the same conversation. And it's Lamar Jackson's fifth year. Same conversation. In his fifth year. That the Ravens have not maximized him as a quarterback. And that that's the frustrating part for me. Like, when are they... Like, again, Greg Roman said it. Hey, take every ounce of that performance and maximize it. When are they going to do that? That's my biggest question. When are they going to do that? When are they going to open up this offense? When are they going to open up this playbook? Because they've been talking for a long time. But we've still been seeing the same stuff. That That's our issue. Well, my issue. Stuff like that got to get fixed, man. It's got to get fixed. Um, now, again, is, is Lamar Jackson blameless? No. Not at all. Lamar Jackson certainly got his stuff he got to work on, too. Now, one of the things that we've been talking about a lot this offseason was Lamar Jackson... Taking like check downs and stuff Lamar Jackson taking what they're giving him And I saw a lot of that yesterday At training camp um, He was going through his progressions Or whatnot, Scanning left, right, left, right, left, right And then he'd be like Alright, dump off he he throw it to the running back I said, oh, okay There we go And again You cannot discount it Just because it's training camp Because training camp is where everything starts so it was just it, it was it was nice to see that. So hopefully that that translates to when they get to the real game. But anyway, we'll see how this thing goes. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out, man.